What's going on guys, it's your boy Vibes, bringing you another video. Today I'm doing an update on VeChain. I haven't updated that much about VeChain lately because I was just waiting to see exactly what it did. I was more bearish than bullish, but as I said in the last video, I'm going to show you a clip here. My bullish prediction would be retesting here, breaking above it, maybe testing this 5 cent area, 5 cent to 5.1 cent area and then maybe rejecting and finding some type of support here and then going up. As I said, I did target around 5.1 to 5.2 as a potential target to the upside. And I said we would take a correction, which we did establish a big support here at around 4.6 to 4.7, which I said in our last video. And now we're on the way to the upside. We did break this all time high at around 6 cents. And that is very, very, very bullish to me. So. If I look at the higher time frames, I do see VeChain at a very, very, very good level, but we are making some upside here and we are having a little bit of bearish divergence, which I do see potentially a pullback sometime soon. I don't know if it's going to be here or we could make a run up to seven cents, create a higher low on this RSI and then see some downside. I do see the Stotch RSI on the daily getting in that overbought territory. So I do see potentially a pullback coming sometime soon. I don't know exactly when, but I do see this as a big possibility. And if you see here on the four hour chart, there is some wide divergence here. We see a high here, we see a higher high here, and we see the RSI going down. So this is some type of wide divergence that I see on this chart. So if I go in the lower time frames, what I do see happening is potentially a five wave structure up which I see as maybe one here, two, three, four, and five. But the question is, will this continue to go up? If I take a FIB extension and I try and find a target for this fifth wave, I do see this potentially going here at around seven cents, and then we could see a pullback. If we were to hit the seven cents area and establish a support here for the short term, I could see a retest here of this previous breakout which we did actually retest here. And if we hold this level, I could see us making a run up to seven cents or even potentially 7.3 cents. So those are my targets right now in the short term if we do hold this level here. If we don't hold this level and this is the fifth wave up, I do see this potentially going down to somewhere around five, seven, five, three, or even five cents, I could see a pullback to establish a new higher support. And that would be the short term bearish side of me is that we establish this as the high right now. We see a pullback to any one of these levels, maybe the two, three, six, the three, eight, two, the five, or even the six, one, eight. But if we are extremely bullish, I don't see us even touching this six, one, eight level. I could see us probably bouncing off this five level, testing this this 200 EMA and then bouncing up. That is the most bullish scenario. If we are a little more bearish then I could see maybe some downside here, or even some downside to here to four two, which is, I don't know, it's possible, but it's not likely right now because we made this extremely bullish swing up. So that's my price prediction guys. If this is a completed five wave Elliott wave and we are starting to see some downside, I do see our next target being somewhere around maybe 10 cents. Let's see if we take a fib extension from the swing high to maybe let's say we bounce here off the five level, I could see us potentially going to anywhere around nine, four to 10 cents. That is my midterm prediction. So this also all depends on Bitcoin. There is always a bearish scenario in my head. So right now I'm pretty bullish. I have been bearish. But Bitcoin has been stabilizing and it hasn't gone down. It didn't break that right shoulder on that inverted head and shoulders. I was waiting specifically to see if we would break that right shoulder on the inverted head and shoulders. But we did hold that level at around 46,000. So as long as we continue this momentum up and we break this 52.5 level, I could see this playing out to 10 cents. But if we don't hold this and we reject at the 52.5, I could see some downside on VET and this could be the top for now. So it all depends on waiting to see what Bitcoin does. But as long as Bitcoin consolidates in this area, I could see alts having a really, really, really massive run right now. 
So that concludes this video, guys. That's my technical analysis on VET. I'm sorry I haven't posted, guys. I'm in the middle of packing my stuff and traveling. So if you guys like this video, smash that like button. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.